right here is one of the most fascinating phenomena in all of physics. And it was something that was ignored until the 60s and 70s because people assumed that Newton had figured it out a couple hundred years ago, but really he hadn't. And what we're talking about is chaos. So if you look at the water here, there's a really stark difference between the very smooth laminar flow over here and then the turbulent flow here. And the line between smooth and ordered and chaotic is very, very thin. We don't really understand how it works. So we've got good laws to talk about how this water moves through here. You can see these parallel lines. But then it starts to interfere with itself and it feeds back on itself. It creates this structure. And the structure is never the same twice, and yet it fits into certain boundaries. So look at this piece here. We've got smooth water flowing in, and then as soon as it hits this rock and interacts with itself, you get this splashing back, and the water is resting on top of its own surface, and the boundaries of this chaotic area are always changing. And I, can, I can mess it up with my stick and make it smaller, and then I take the stick out, and it reforms and starts sliding back to where it was before. So this pattern here is always changing and will never be the same twice, and yet there's a weird kind of order to it. And that's chaos. <laughs> it's still beautiful. It's like it's like floating on glass or yeah. something. Yeah. It looks like... So there's really bad footage, but I'm just intrigued. 